So that was all of the entries into the texture pack competition and I want to say thanks to each and every one of you who entered. Um, it was really inspirational to see all the different ideas you came up with. I was really humbled by it all. But I could only pick a few winners and I decided to put seven people into the texture pack. Um, I chose some different sizes as well. So we have two of the very big ones, that's 4x4. Four four. Then we've got uh, two of the ones that are half that size, the 2x2 two two ones. Uh, one of the wide ones which is 2x4 and then one of the smaller, sorry two of the smaller ones which is 1x2. So first of all I think we should go up here and have a look at the uh, the two big ones, the 4x4. Four four. And here they are. Yeah, these are absolutely great. Um, on the left here we have the winner of the competition and I'm going to be explaining a little bit more about that in a moment. But yeah, Raven's Child with this uh, brilliant painting and I really love this I contacted him on Skype and he's even sent me a bigger one that I can use on my desktop but yeah that's me that's my doom guy skin except I'm wearing my armor so never mind um, and yeah I've got a, I've got a sword and that's not blood in my hand if you're wondering that's uh, redstone dust and obviously you know I like my redstone and yeah over on the right hand side here we have AC Dales too and this is fantastic he sent me two of these um, using the orange and blue colour scheme that I love and my favourite mobs which are creepers we got a blue and an orange one. So next up I think we should go up the stairs again and have a look at the 2x2 two two size paintings these were half the size of the ones before and yeah here they are I really love these ones uh, we've got the first one which is by Jorge David I think I've pronounced that right there's a lot of uh, names I can't pronounce on YouTube including our second one on the right here which is by Palof, I think I've pronounced your name wrong, I usually do, I don't know, but yeah. First one here is uh, Pig on the Minecart track, and I loved that when I first saw it. Um, it looks a lot better in high resolution, um, so yeah, you saw that earlier in the video. Really nice painting there, I think it's a painting, um, it kind of looks like it is, it could have been done digitally. But yeah, I think that should go somewhere in the animal breeding area, that kind of suits what it's about. And yeah, on the right here we've got the Asuma Shield the diamond swords and the redstone and uh, again I like the uh, blue and orange they're my favorite colors so yeah I'm really proud of these two so now let's take a look at the last three we've got the the wide big one the 2x4 and two of the smaller ones as well and here they are yeah the first one the big one at the top is by Exile Unlimited and I really like that as soon as I saw it just you know the classic mob faces uh, made a lot of sense, I like that. But it did give me the idea that perhaps for the the one square paintings we could get one of each different type of mob and put them where they're relevant, like if we have a cave spider farm we can put a picture of a cave spider farm outside it. And yeah, this second one here, the potions, is by I'm Rooster MC and this one is worth checking out in high definition at the beginning of the video because there was lots of nice detail in the way it was done um, it doesn't really translate but this I'm going to put at my potion room whenever I get around to building that and yeah that's going to be like above the entrance or something which I really like again using orange and blue my favorite colors and uh, yeah on the right here we have something really simple redstone on stone and this was made by Joku Balaski and I like this I'm going to put this on the entrance to my redstone rooms to signify what's inside them so they are our seven winners and originally the prize was just to be part of the texture pack which is available for download and I'll talk about that more in a moment. Um, but I decided that that wasn't enough and I've been speaking to Raven's Child which was my personal favourite and uh, he's going to be joining me on the Geomine server and we decided we'll go for an adventure for a couple of hours, do some caving, some building or just general minecrafting together and uh, one other person can join us so we leave it in you guys hands to vote for your favorite and um, so I'm going to put a name of each person in the description box and depending on which one was your favorite um, you can vote for them by leaving a comment with their name and then the person with the most uh, votes because I'll be reading all of the comments and tallying them up uh, can join me and Rabens on Skype and then we'll go around on the Geomine server and explore that place uh, there's lots of cool stuff on there and yeah Raven's Child and whoever else comes along will be welcome to join that community if they like it and become a member on the server as well
so that was our six contestants and each of their names so you can pick your favorite and post a comment and vote for them and yeah best of luck to all of you and I mentioned earlier about the texture pack being available for download you can download the normal clean glass and also this one which includes the custom artwork and something else as well but you can find a download link to that in the description box it will take you to the minecraft forum thread and on there you can get both the clean glass one and the assumers edition and yeah the other thing that's included is this panoramic shot um, when the map moves around in the background that's actually now the uh, wall regeneration cells from Atlantis so you may have noticed that there was something wrong with the panoramic background we had on here a moment ago and I spotted it myself and I went and fixed it straight away and this is the fixed one so in case you spotted it as well um, it's now fixed and yeah here's the icon for the texture pack and it's the same one that I have on my channel and yeah that's it um, thank you for everyone for entering the competition it was really great fun to have a look through all the images and pick some out and uh, all of that and yeah don't forget to vote for the guys who are left in the competition and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.